I think there is a significant chance that the Bitcoin ETF will be approved within the next seven days. You might have seen the reason analysis from Bloomberg, where they have stated that there is a window of opportunity between November 8th and November 17th, where all 12 Bitcoin ETFs can be approved together by the SEC. Now, I have always taken a relatively uh, conservative approach on this Bitcoin ETF deadline estimate because um, you can see on our previous video as well, I always said that it's likely to go to the final deadline because I just want to be more conservative as there's usually over uh, speculation on the date. However, this time, uh, this window estimate is not just an arbitrary deadline date. Uh, that the SEC have to respond on. Usually when uh, when one of these deadlines come, the SEC can just keep delaying the approval every time. They don't need a reason. They just uh, extend until the very end. However, this latest analysis is not a arbitrary approval deadline date. Rather, it comes from a very deep analysis done by the Bloomberg analyst on the required steps to approve these ETFs which really limits how long the SEC can keep delaying and actually puts the window of opportunity very clearly on the estimate. And I think this estimate is very convincing. So I'll give you my full percentage prediction on this as well. Okay, before we get started, if you're new here to the channel, welcome. My name is Dennis. I'm a crypto angel investor for the past five years, and I have invested in over 100 crypto startups. On this channel, I share my views on market trends, latest news, and investing strategy to build wealth in crypto. Okay, let's get right into this. Uh, so there are three main uh, assumptions that the latest analysis makes uh, in order to put this estimate on the calendar. So the three assumptions are this. Number one is that the SEC will most likely approve BlackRock's ETF first because BlackRock is the main player that's just had their first filing. They have the biggest track, a best track record, biggest asset manager in the world, right? Number two assumption is that the ARK Invest ETF will also most likely be approved. So this is because uh, ARK Invest have filed, uh, Kathy Wood have gone back and forth with the SEC. You see here uh, with five pages of requests and documentation and amendments back and forth. So they have gone through a very clear dialogue. So their ETF will also most likely be approved. And the ARK Invest ETF deadline actually comes earlier than BlackRock's, which is on January 10th. So this is significant and I'll cover this in a bit. And lastly, number three is that the SEC most likely will approve all 12 pending ETF applications because all of them have very similar amendments that they have filed and they're all very similarly structured, which means it doesn't give the SEC much reason to deny some guys but approve the others. So this is the number three assumption uh, that we'll cover today. So with all assumptions combined, we do have a clear percentage that we can put on uh, this week's window of opportunity where the SEC have to approve. So this is because uh, if the SEC has to wants to approve all 12 ETFs uh, applications, then the SEC cannot delay everything until the very end. Um, instead, there are only some short windows of opportunity where uh, it allows them to approve most of the guys without having to delay some other guys and potentially reject them. So this is the core premise of this estimate. And I think it's actually very smart, but it makes a lot of sense. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, so number one assumption, BlackRock most likely will get approved. Let's just say that there is 100% chance that BlackRock's ETF will get approved. I think it's decent, decently safe. I think it's at least 95%. Let's just say 100% chance, right? So that's number one. Get that out of the way. Number two, what is the chance that the that all ETFs will be approved. Uh, sorry, what is the chance that the ETFs will be approved before January 10th, right? So before uh, Kathy Wood's ARK Invest deadline comes on January 10th. So uh, the analysts give this percentage about a 90% chance. 
Uh, this is because you can read here, ARC and 21 shares updated perspectives had many small changes with new language, further context, and additional risk disclosures. And their updates were likely made at the SEC's request, amounted to at least five pages of text, signifying that the agency likely had many comments from ARC. This back and forth between the SEC and fund sponsors is a standard practice for new launches, but a first for spot Bitcoin ETF applications, indicating that the SEC is working to approve uh, ARC's proposal. So this is the premise. I think this makes a lot of sense as well. ARC Invest is one of the really leaders in understanding a Bitcoin ETF. So I, I don't see them being much behind BlackRock in terms of approval chance. So give them 90% chance, right? So combining assumption number one and number two, and if we look at the deadline dates here, you see that uh, right up here, we have ARK Invest 21 shares uh, deadline right here, January 10th. And then we have iShares Bitcoin Trust from BlackRock. That happens, uh, the last deadline for that is uh, March 15th, 2024. So combining one and two assumption, if we assume both will be approved and we know that BlackRock needs to come first because, well, they wouldn't want ARK Invest to have a two month starting, uh, you know, start to the race before BlackRock. This means, well, they cannot extend BlackRock's uh, ETF application until the last deadline in March, right? So if they want to approve both, they have to also approve BlackRock's ETF application before January 10th in order for them to not compete with each other, in order to not have BlackRock be in a less favorable launch situation. So this, this is, again, uh, already very significant, right? So this means most likely we will see ETF applications being approved even before January 10th. So uh, I want to, you know, retract my previous statement way back uh, two months ago when, you know, I estimated the final deadline is likely. I don't think this is likely anymore. I think the actual dates that we will see for sure the Bitcoin ETF come out is going to be January 10th of 2024. So this is the first major update. Okay, now what is the chance that we can see the ETFs come out even sooner? So this takes into account the third estimate, which is that Black, uh, which is that the SEC will want to approve all 12 ETFs together. So. In order to estimate this, uh, I think we should all watch this interview that Paul Byrne did with uh, Jeff Safart, uh, James Safart, which is uh, who is the one of the two analysts at Bloomberg that is uh, dedicated at, at um, analyzing ETFs and their applications and their approvals. So, just have a listen to this. That being the case, right now, I know you and Eric have kind of looking have been doing these percentage of probability uh, ranges by end of year. Where are you guys at now on this? We're still at 75% by the end of the year, but we think um, basically uh, one thing that goes into all this is we think the SEC is going to try to allow most, if not all of them to launch on the same day. We th okay. They're not going to play Kingmaker. They were they played Kingmaker with Bitto, which is the ProShares Bitcoin futures ETF, got a billion and a half or over a billion in two days, um, dominate. They have 96% of the assets, 96% of the volume. Um, they, they utterly dominate. I don't think they don't want to do that again. So I think the SEC is going to be try to find these um, like, angles and areas where they can allow a whole bunch to launch at the same time. And like I said, one of those, one of those like time periods starts tomorrow and goes through like roughly the 17th, maybe the 21st, depending on with all these other filings. But if you include GBTC, there's 12 active applications right now in front of the SEC. So the SEC might have to figure out a way to do this. So like I said, November could happen. There's also a period in December. Our view is that the final deadline for ARK and 21 shares is January 10th. And yeah. I just don't think if, if they deny then by that January 10th deadline, if they wait all the way up until that deadline, which they don't have to, they can go very early if they want to. We saw that in September. They went months early in some of these cases. Um, they will approve in, by January 10th is our, is our view. We're at 90% on that now. Okay. So that's, uh, that's this estimate, right? So hopefully that has been cleared. This made a lot of sense to me as well, how they, how he described it. So basically if the SEC wants to approve all 12 ETFs together, they wouldn't want to make certain applications come first while others come after, because this creates kind of a, a favorable situation for some guys to launch first and have significant dominance over others. So in order to avoid this situation happening again, 
uh, where they have seen before with the Biddle uh, futures Bitcoin ETF. So if they want to avoid this, they they will need to find windows where they can approve everything. So then uh, James said that there are certain windows where the deadlines do not overlap, right? So actually the dates are not, uh, not every day can the SEC do this and approve everyone. So let's look at how this actually works. So here is the uh, full deadlines coming up, right? So first we have the current nine uh, ETF filings that can be approved uh, even just today, right? So this is because um, the last time around, right? The last wave of uh, deadlines came in September, and when that happened, the SEC delayed these until October at the earliest, and they also left themselves with a uh, rebuttal comment period that ended on November 8th. So this means after November 8th, the SEC is free now. They they don't have any rebuttal comments, and they can they are free to uh, approve or deny the last wave of applications, which were uh, Wisdom Tree, Invesco, uh, BlackRock, all the other guys, right? The first nine applications on this list that are red right here. So these now can be approved uh, after November 8th. Now, what's also interesting is that these three upcoming deadlines you see here on November 17th for hashtags uh, Franklin Templeton, on uh, November 17th and then November 21st for Global X Bitcoin Trust. So these three filings have their upcoming deadlines 17th to 21st. This is also significant in combination because every time that a deadline comes, when the SEC have to make a comment and make a short-term decision to either approve a ETF application or delay it further, that creates a another window, right? Because uh, let's say on... November 17th, the SEC comes out and says, okay, we want to, if we want to approve these guys, well, then they can approve. But if they want to delay, then that starts a 45-day uh, period at least, right? You see here, these deadlines usually occur at 45, 60, and 90-day intervals. So by November uh, 17th, or even as far as November 21st, if the SEC wants to delay these three new applications deadlines, then they cannot approve them right after, right? Instead, it has to go through another 45 day roughly period where the SEC can, you know, confidently come back and say, okay, we have reviewed and we have talked to these guys and now we think it's it's worthy to approve them again. So the SEC cannot say next week, oh, we're gonna delay these applications but then three days later say, never mind, we're gonna approve them. That just doesn't make sense. So that is why in combination with the first nine here applications being able to be approved now, and the next three deadlines coming up uh, that are either to be approved or denied, it creates a window of opportunity, right? So the SEC now have gone back and forth with the previous wave of applications that uh, they can approve them and before the next deadlines come up for these new applications, right? So this is where the window of opportunity comes. In order for the SEC to approve everyone at the same time and not create kingmakers, the, they have to do so before November 17th or latest before November 21st, right? Because after November 21st, if they delay these new ones from hashtags GlobalX and Franklin Templeton, then, well, they cannot approve these first ones. So that is the key uh, estimate here. That is the key overlap that is important to understand. So I think this is really smart and it actually paints a much clearer picture about uh, the window of opportunities that the SEC can approve everyone together. So the first window of opportunity is right now, right? So uh, if we don't count the weekends, that is today until uh, as far as November 21st. So if we look at the calendar, uh, bottom left here, so that's today, and then next week from November 13th to November 17th, and then maybe November 20th and 21st. So within the next week or so. 
this is the first window of opportunity where the SEC can approve everyone together. Okay, now what is the next way, uh, window of opportunity then? Well, if the SEC chooses to not approve everyone next week, then, well, that means they will have to delay everyone uh, again by 45 days. So the latest uh, application deadline on here is November 21st. That's coming up. So 45 days from November 21st, you can just type that in on Google and that gives you January 5th for the for the delay period uh, after 45 days. So that gives us between January 5th to January 10th when the ARK Invest deadlines come up. So that is the next wave uh, window of opportunity around January 5th to January 10th. Let's say extend that a little, little bit more, maybe January 1st to January 10th. That is the next window of opportunity. So that's the analysis, right? Essentially, if we assume that the SEC will approve everyone uh, because they all have very similar filings and they have to do so before January 10th, because that is the uh, latest deadline for ARK Invest ETF. So if we give it a 90% chance that most of these ETFs will be approved before January 10th, then the only two windows of opportunity is next week before November 21st or in the first week of January. So between January 1st and January 10th. So which one is more likely? Uh, I think that's a little bit harder to estimate. So let's just give it a 50-50 split between these two windows of opportunities, right? So if we take the total percentage chance that most of these ETFs will be approved before January 10th, which is 90%, divided that by half, that gives us 45% chance that most of the ETFs will be approved next week. And then another 45% chance that most of the ETFs will be approved in the first week of January. That is the key alpha here that is the takeaway from today. And I think that is super significant. Uh, once you actually dive into this research, you realize that it is not an arbitrary date. It is not just something that they made up. Uh, it is not just a random deadline here. It is a combination of what the SEC is likely to do, uh, looking at previous ETF filings and how uh, they will need to uh, approve most of these guys because they have back and forth conversations and they have to do so all at the same time in order to make it a fair launch, a fair market where nobody has a uh, head start. And because the deadlines overlap with each other, that gives the SEC very limited time windows to make this happen. So that is very significant. And after doing this research, I can, I am personally quite convinced that there is a very decent chance, 45% chance that we will see the Bitcoin ETF approvals next week and maybe the latest uh, by November 21st. If we don't see it then, then we're gonna look at another 40 days to 45 days of delay. And then that gives us uh, most likely all the ETFs to come in the first week of January. So those are very, very direct dates uh, and date windows that we can play around. And with this news, I think a lot of alpha that you can take away from there. So. Um, yeah, I think most people have not priced this in yet. And if you even just want to bet on those chances, I think Bitcoin looking really good for the next week. I think there's going to be a lot of assignment for Bitcoin coming up next week. OK, so that's uh, all the analysis that I want to cover. Before I go, make sure to follow me on Twitter at VirtualBacon0x. This is where I drop all the latest alpha before I make these in-depth videos. And last but not least, make sure to follow me on uh, virtualbacon.com with all of our links, our free newsletter, and join our Discord, free Discord, at uh, discord.gg slash virtualbacon, or you can find all the links down below where we have free trade setups and altcoin alpha and alerts, signals from yours truly, and uh, all for free. And make sure to join the discussion on Discord. Okay. That's it for today. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video and next live stream. Cheers. Bye-bye.